viewers welcome to the video presentation my name is dharmalingam and i accredited in fgo auditors and former director national productivity council today presentation is on how to do energy audit by yourself in your home to save energy the broad coverage of the presentation why do you need energy audit in your home the next one is how to do energy audit a uh, method that is the approach do it yourself approach and third one we will see some of the case studies now let's move on to the next slide as you see in the slide we use three type of energy electricity lpg and water electricity is used in various application like air conditioner refrigerator etc we pay a lot of money for electricity in fact uh, 5 to 10% of our income goes to this expenditure then we also the energy audit uh, if you do energy audit we will get the answer to the questions what the total energy bill how much energy used where it is used what is significant energy users and finally we also get energy saving opportunities in fact by doing energy audit by yourself you will find out that there is a scope for uh, 30% energy saving and 50% money savings now this is a five step approach if you look at there are five tables are available for each steps you have to complete and fill it up this five table then your uh, energy audit is over the first one is the uh, gather electricity bill the second one is inventory of all the home appliances the third one is energy monitoring and performance testing the fourth one is ranking finally you can do analysis and recommend energy saving measures and uh, if you look at the step 1 this you can collect it from the tnb website it is available uh this is a uh, for 2 bhk 1000 uh, square feet uh, houses uh, data so dur during the summer they spend 5600 rupees to 1000 rupees below 1000 in winter so during the january and february february month the lowest energy consumption and lowest energy bill this is because you are, they have moved from slab rate above 500 uh, unit to below 500 unit because the price is uh, drastically it reduces so this gives a very useful information and you can calculate the specific energy consumption and compare with the benchmarking if you work out the energy consumption in this house of 40 kwh per meter squared per year is coming but still the benchmark is, is very low even 15 can obtained so there is a vast uh, gap is there so our objective is to reduce to at least 15 or 20 25 energy saving potential now let us uh, move on to the two this important test that is inventory of all the appliances in the house for this you can um, uh, take your uh, family members the parents and children let us move on to the two your uh, each and every room now we will go to the room number 1 uh, inventory survey in this uh, room there is one fan 60 watts fan is running and uh, that side one um, t8 uh, that is 36 watts bulb is uh, burning it the other side of the wall you find a led light ftl type 20 watts this room also contains one uh, ac it's a 10 years old 110 tr capacity and uh, there is a computer and printer in this room also it is also consuming about 80 to 90 watts uh, desktop computer and printer also 60 watts now we are in dining room there is one refrigerator it is a newly installed uh, three star uh, samsung and uh, <coughs> 325 liter capacity filled in this room also you find one uh, tube light this is a t12 40 watts bulb and one then fan it's a old fan this is a 20 years old fan it consuming about 80 watts in one of the bathroom uh, there is a 50 liter capacity storage water heater uh, its capacity is 2 kW and uh, the thermostat is uh, kept at the highest temperature from the initial stage itself the another thing is there is one uh, uh, light that is a uh, LED light. Uh, dear friends, now we completed the inventory survey by going to all the room, and uh, now we'll move on to the next step. The kitchen and dining hall, so you find a lot of uh, inventories like that. You fill it up all the appliances in the home. Then move on to the energy monitoring. If you are not monitoring, you cannot manage anything. So that is a principle. So in home also, every day how much is consumed, you note down every day morning and evening. You will find out the daytime consumption, nighttime consumption, peak time consumption. and this energy meter is very important you can find out the voltage current etc uh, it also so three phase supply is the imbalance unbalance also you can find out then you want to find out the exact capacity of uh, equipments you can find out the amperage reading 
by for example the instant water heater is uh, taking a 12.2 amps and it consuming 2.8 kilowatt like that exact quantity of capacity if you find out by running individual appliances you note down this reading it is very useful for calculation then there is a performance testing also can be conducted in a pumps water heater an example is given thermostat was kept at 72 centigrade one year back so during energy audit we found that it is high so it can be reduced to 50 if you do it uh, then cycle time is reduced and this energy consumption also reduced about uh, to 60 watts per heating cycle then <clears throat> finally you collect all the information calculate and summarize it and rank it so out of nine application the first five application consume 80 percent of the energy the next nine application consume 20 percent of energy so you concentrate on the top five among the top five there is a fan alone consuming almost 40 percent and the water heater 12 percent there's a lot of scope to save energy the 12 percent can be completely eliminated by installing solar water heater and fans can be replaced with the bldc fan 50 percent can be reduced then like that you can find out then the last step is important analysis and recommendation there is a useful uh, techniques available that is a permit uh, that is energy consumption permit if you look at this the bottom one is energy conservation the next one is energy efficiency the third one is uh, uh, renewable energy you have to move from bottom to up the bottom one is by behavioral change by turning off uh, changing the temperatures and switching off fan and light you can save a lot of energy without any investment the next uh, you will with a little with the investment you can replace old uh, equipments i replaced with a five star one finally you can go for solar water heater installation and solar power generation installation to become a net zero building or a, a <coughs> green building concept so you find there are a lot of areas out of 10 areas each and every areas you find a lot of energy saving potential you can bring out with the debate and discussion and recommend in your house there's one case study is given also so one uh, four bhp 2004 square feet one of the friend is done by himself. So his specific energy consumption has come down to 15 only. So when compared to benchmarking 60, he's too good. So he has he implemented a lot of energy saving uh, ideas in his house. So he changed the LED to nine watts and super efficient BLDC fan and five star exhaust fan, all are running on DC currents. For that, he installed a uh, solar photovoltaic cell. It is generating 78 kilowatt and consuming here. So the energy bill is uh, uh, bring, uh, brought down drastically. So dear friends, we come to the end of the presentation. Dear friends, I take the opportunity to um, thank you and uh, request also to conduct energy audit in your home and get the benefit out of it. The benefit, not only you will save money, you also contribute in a national interest. Jai Hind.